cities, so many cities. And this one is an interesting map. Uh, it's a, it looks a lot like a 2v2 map, and I think it was probably originally envisioned as a 2v2 map, to be quite honest. <laughs> but, you know, there are some interesting games that have been played on it, and White Ra has opted to choose it for his next battleground. It's another really large map. Uh, Star Station from the last game was also quite a big map, but this is another map where air is particularly good because there's quite a bit of dead space behind yeah. both the main and the natural because the main is, the natural is actually inside the main, so to speak, and both of them, the mineral lines are flanked by quite a bit of dead space, so air units can be pretty good. Even the third is, is just surrounded by dead space, so this map encourages air almost more than any other map I've ever seen, except maybe Arkanoid. Yeah, I can see that. Arkanoid man. I'm just waiting for the day where it'll be playable in customs. Oh man, I'm just waiting for the day where they put it on ladder. <laughs> Dust I, I hope. Like rocks! <laughs> I hope that will not happen. Alright. But you're Terran, why would you why would you object to that? I really don't don't see the need for the games that uh, are not twenty minutes already to go up to at least twenty minutes. Uh, Especially in Heart of the Swarm. I feel like Reapers would just become really, really overpowered oh on that map if it was added <laughs> to the pool. I mean, like, think about it, though. It was, the transition is coming in, in March. I mean, we're not all that far away. Mm. Imagine Reapers and Beetalisks on Arkanoid. It scares me, man. It scares me. It does. Me. It gets me all scared. All right. Once again, we're seeing both players essentially mirrored at this point in time in their builds. Um, I guess the first really de real deviation we'll see is either going to be gas or mothership core timing here. Yeah. An interesting thing that we've seen A-Bomb do every game is that as soon as he's gotten his first gas, he's always only put one guy in gas and then just slowly but surely added on a second and a third. Um, and he's also gotten that second gas a little bit earlier to make up for that. That's true. Gas timing is something that, like... It separates high, high-level Protoss players from Protoss players that are just entering the Pro scene. Um, like, build refinement to determine exactly when you get your geysers, and not only that, but like when you place additional workers in geysers. Two-on-two -two gas has been coming, becoming increasingly popular. Uh, ever since, I think, Naniwa uh, used it at one point in a PBT uh, in, in the GSL back when he was playing in Codas. Yeah, uh, Naniwa and Sase were the first real pioneers of that. And we actually haven't seen A-Bomb scout at all. Uh, White Rose scouting worker is still making its way around the map. Hasn't found A-Bomb's base just yet. He's actually oh. off of one gas and going for two gates really early. Um, so this is looking like some sort of early pressure. Um, and he can very easily transition out of this into a four gate if he wants to. No, only adding another, another gate down, not two. This looks, uh, this is very similar to the, uh, Three Stalker Rush that was popular about a month ago in Wings of Liberty. Yeah. So far. But he's going to be adding on a third behind that. Um, Mothership Core on the way now for A Bomb, and there's an expansion going up as well. If there was ever a map to take an early expansion on, this is <laughs> definitely it. Yeah. Let's see, we do have a single probe, and unfortunately for White Riot, we'll scout him first. Um, the Stalker will be able to most likely snipe it. No! White Riot doesn't react in time, and this probe will get. Nope. It will see the, the, the double gateway, yeah. but it doesn't see the one behind it. And Wyra still, he knows where A-Bomb is, because he's scouted the other two bases, but he hasn't actually scouted A-Bombs yet. And he is going to be putting a pylon down at the front here. It looks like it's going to be a uh, three-gate pressure out of Wyra, going straight for the proxy pylon. And I like that he just didn't allow, he, he didn't even reveal that, uh, that probe, um, not wanting to risk it being sniped, so... The initial stalkers are going to be deflected for now, but as soon as that pylon is done, this is going to be difficult to hold off. A bomb is still only on one gate. Yeah. Two more are going to be completing, but warp gate's not quite done yet. His gateways are quite late uh, right now, and the robo is not even halfway complete at this point. Let alone having an immortal in production. This is going to be very dangerous here for A bomb. I, I feel that he needs to pull a couple probes here to try and draw a fire for uh, a little bit. Yeah, he's going to warp in a couple more stalkers before going and another sentry. A sentry. Uh, he has two centers at the moment, but he is going to have to pull a couple probes if he wants to really get this. Photon Overcharge is used, though, and that is going to help. He will lose one gateway, but the Photon Overcharge will keep these troops at bay for at least a little while. And, uh, yeah, it is 60 seconds that it lasts. But, of course, White Rush is still able to just go for the natural here, pick up a bunch of probes, 
And that Nexus was essentially undefended at this point. He needs to be careful about losing his stalkers, though. Because this is pretty much his army, and a mortal counter can be very, very deadly. Uh, one force field does go down, not the greatest force field of all time. Does trap them in there for the Zealots, though, and Apom is surviving. He does keep all the sentries alive as well, but White Ra is looking very, very good at that the moment. That was very Sorry. nicely executed by White Ra. Now yeah. he pretty much just needs to t attack this immortal, and he'll be good to go. There's actually an offensive pylon coming in the main base of his opponent. Uh, so White Ra smells blood here. And that uh, one immortal is going to be able to focus down a couple of stalkers. Nice force field going down, but the, the immortal isn't. Uh, yeah, it's firing, firing the zealots. And that is not what you want to do. And the ah, mothership core is so close to dying. Mm, not quite, though. A bomb is going to be supply blocked with the loss of this uh, pylon, though. And I think that's going to be the nail in the coffin here yeah. because he doesn't even have any more pylon building. And uh, if that, if that um, immortal goes down, he is. Essentially, just dead. The mothership core has survived through all this, um, although it is quite low and hasn't really been used aside from the photon overcharge. Does not have a single kill to its name. A bomb still trying to double produce probes throughout this. Uh, he will have a second immortal uh, though relatively soon, and he does have two force fields. However, yeah, the five zealots really good. make it incredibly difficult uh, to engage this out in the open. He really needs to try and. Pull White Rot into a choke before he comes, and here comes White Rot. Nicely down to the force fields there, but the tensions are in the front, not the best positioning of all time. Two more pylons going to be finishing up. We saw Avon get a supply block again with the loss of the Nexus here, and with White Rot saturating his natural and with that Cyber Nemesis core down, I really don't think that there's any way for Avon to choke no. this route. Even if he somehow, by some miracle, holds this, he's down to one base again while White Rot is just double producing probes and uh, just happily continuing on his merry way. Yeah, I really like the three gateway aggression in Heart of the Storm. Um, when I play Protoss, this is pretty much how I open. It just allows you to put a lot, a lot of pressure on it, as people have become really reliant on this Mothership Core for early game defense. They focus less on getting additional gateways up, or really playing it just all that bit safer. Yeah, uh, White Rider is continuing to warp in a units offensively here. He does want to end this game, but... Adding up two more gateways as well, and that's just gonna put his production through the roof. A bomb is still on only two uh, two warp gates. He does have a third immortal out at this point, but White Red is just warping in zealots. So the cyber core is only just now being restarted, and this is looking very disastrous for A bomb. He's not even producing another pile on these supply blocks again. Two more are gonna be going down now, but this is looking pretty much over, to be honest. Yeah, these additional zealots are just going to tank through so much. Even if he focused his fire, oh, focus fires down all of the stalkers, he still has those to contend with. And now with two force fields at his command, this is going to be a, a very nice engagement for White Rock. Yeah, here we go. Force fields going down on both sides. Um, White Rock gave me a bit that of a here, was but... questionable. Yeah. But I, the two force fields at the back of the Immortals are just really, really paying for themselves. Both the Immortals are down. There are two more in the back here. Uh, and actually, the Zealots are going to go down, so these Immortals may actually hold. Uh, a bomb holds. Trying for dear life to survive at this point. He's still producing probes. Uh, Immortals getting a bit over eager, though, and yeah. it looks like he is going to lose one of these. Uh, one of them does go down. The other and the second very one is going to fall, well. too. Uh, looks like he is going to get away, but finally going to be pulling the probes. <laughs> uh, Looks like this is over though. The Zealot and the Stalker are going to be able to focus down that Immortal, and that should be game. GG called from A Bomb. White Red 2, A Bomb 1. We haven't seen a single macro game yet though. No, we have so. not. Um, I can see why there wouldn't be a macro game on that map though, especially in oh, those yeah. positions. Um, yeah. The distance between the two bases is very, very close.